In this tutorial video for the Arcade County Game Builder, I'm going to show you getting started, starting from scratch, in the Arcade County Game Builder. So we've got our desktop icon here, and we can also find this on our start menu. So we're going to double click this, load very quickly. Now, once we load, when we initially load, we're going to have a few options. We can buy Arcade County. Uh, it's $25. It's a lifetime membership. You pay for it once. And uh, it, but but one thing to consider is you have very very few restrictions if you use the free edition. The only difference between the free edition and the paid edition is that the free edition has about every 10 minutes it has a pop up asking you to register, and it'll take you to the the store page where you can purchase Arcade County for $25. And you can't upload games to ArcadeCounty.com. Those are the only differences. Well, actually, you also um, you won't be able to upload a profile pic uh, to your personalized page as well, and you can't set your um, some you can't set your Facebook, your your Twitter, your MySpace. Um, so people, so you're you're sort of limited on your your social interactions as well. But you can make games, you can make as many games as you want, you can share those games, you can give those games to your friends. Uh, a lot of uh, quote unquote free uh, game makers. They claim to be free, but they have immense restrictions. They don't let you export your games. They'll limit how many sprites you can have, uh, how many backgrounds you can have, and stuff like that as well. So there really are no restrictions on this. So we're just going to go ahead and click that we want to use the free edition. And uh, I've already got a game here that I was messing with, but we can right-click this or left-click it. We can edit it. We're just going to go ahead and delete this since I don't need it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to download some some uh, some sprites and some tiles so I don't have to start completely from scratch. When we go to the workshop we've got a few different things we can do here. Now by the time you download this you're probably going to see a lot more uh, in the workshop. We've got tutorial videos that we can go through and get. Uh, but we're gonna, we got source code. We can get the, the entire Mega Man survival source code. We're going to get some sprites and I'm going to download this Super Mario sprite. So I can hit the get it button. Takes just a second to download it. Uh, and if I want to, look, here's Mega Man. I can preview it is going to be a little bit too large so my browser opened up and it'll show take a look at what the sprites are going to look like so we can preview any of these graphics as well so let's look at tiles and we're going to get the Mario World tiles from Super Mario World from the Super NES so hit get it once again uploads or excuse me downloads very quickly so now let's go ahead and create a game we're just going to call this Mario Demo hit OK now it's going to copy all the files you need for your new game in a moment it'll open up it goes ahead and saves it for you and now we've got our game window here. Uh, well, this is our editing window. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and look at our tiles. Because we downloaded some tiles. We're going to hit Import Page. And there's the tiles we just imported. So we're going to hit OK. Now we've got those tiles. And we want to put these into the game. We can just put them right in. Put a little slope in here. Oh, let's use the wrong size. Let's put a pretty steep one right there. Now we want our Mario character in, so let's just go to Sprites and Behaviors. We have nothing, so let's hit Import. There's Mario. We can change his name. We'll keep him as Super Mario. Drag and drop him onto the screen. Change his direction. Set the camera to follow him. Set the controller to follow him. Hit the Play button. And now we're controlling Mario. And that's all you have to do to get started. And uh, as the... Uh, as, you, as you look through more of the tutorial videos, you'll see that there's uh, a lot more that you can learn. Uh, you can do things like restricting the screen. You can take a screenshot, and that'll put it in your screenshots folder. If you want to upload it to your website, it'll just uh, um, it'll just get this portion of the screen. You can select different levels. You can create new levels, and uh, you have all your your navigation for going through your tiles, which is what we drew to the screen. Surprise and behaviors, backgrounds, if you want to do up to eight layers of parallax scrolling. We've got the timer, which is right here. We can turn that on and off. Scoring, uh, how you get points, what the points look like. Sounds, we can go through. Uh, Arcade County Game Builder comes with over 700 sounds. That's a ridiculous amount. Uh, $25 you pay, in all honesty, you know, the amount of sounds that this comes with is probably worth 10 times that alone. Inventory, game over, what happens when there's a game over, your scripts, how to clear the levels and uh, all that and that all of this will be covered in other tutorial videos which you can find on arcadecounty.com or on the Arcade County uh, YouTube page.